everybody, it's me, Andrew. Get out into nature and tune in for yourself. Resonate with the Earth's electromagnetic field via 432 hertz, the universal frequency. Balance out psychologically and emotionally and further strengthen your brain and your heart's coherence as well. Get a plant-based diet going for yourself today and nurture yourself right back into life. We are literally herbivores in our nature. Further balance out your physical body's pH level and to get with alkalinity. Then you can generate some static electricity. Send me some love telepathically. Set attention to your mind and set intention to communicate. That is all there is to telepathy. You are now tuning in to great days. So uh, I'm going to talk on trusting and um, living in the bliss that comes with trust. Okay, so we're going to get into this. So uh, trust is very, very vital, okay, to uh, everybody because without trust, it makes it very, very hard to uh, get in the flow of things. All right, if you can't trust, um, the flow is kind of blocked up. So you got to um, you got to really uh, come to the realization that trust is very, very vital for the uh, flow of things, for the flow of the universe to take its course. Um, and and trusting is um, something that is deeply, deeply embedded in our being. Okay, uh, only I only say this because whenever you are born as an infant, uh, trust is is within your uh, pure core. Okay, you have to trust somebody else very unconditionally to uh, keep you alive. Otherwise, you're going to die. Okay, so trust is very very deeply embedded in our in our core being, in our coding. Uh, so it's very, it's a very powerful thing, you know, and um, it's, it's like that for uh, a reason, you know, you have to hold that unconditional trust for uh, the universe, the cosmic mother, otherwise it doesn't, um, otherwise corruption can, can um, detriment you. Okay, which which is inevitably going to happen, but um, you got to keep that underlying trust. Okay, an unconditional, deep trust. Uh, we all have it already, so it's not something you got to develop. It's something you got to realize. But it's covered up, which is the corrupting uh, force. Okay, uh, there's corrupting forces that come into detriment your system. Um, and 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 the conditioning of society pretty much covers up that trust you know uh so it leads you into a more malice leads you into a malicious state you know whenever you get uh, you develop too much uh conditioning and programs that uh, don't go um that don't function in harmony you know uh disharmonious programming and conditioning, uh, they can cover you from uh, your your core being, you know, or your inner being. So what you got to do is you got to revert back. You got to decondition, and you got to uh, disconnect from the programming of society, the societal norm, and you have to um, go deeper within your own being. Okay, because this is where all truth is. This is where you're gonna have the this is where you are going to have the experience of God in the center of your being, the center of the heart, okay? Uh, you are going to be able to have that experience of oneness and uh, then um, going deeper into uh, nonness or non-existence, okay? Both are very, very vital for uh, evolution. So... Uh, that trust is needed to be realized by each and every individual. Uh, it's not something to be developed. It can be maybe strengthened, but more so it's just realization, right? That comes with deconditioning. So all you gotta do is decondition yourself. You gotta pull back the layers of conditioning and uh, come into that deep realization that uh, you are living in deep, deep trust. 
of the universe. You know, because uh, all all beings have this in their in their coding, the trust, right? So so uh, once you have that realization that you are living in deep deep trust of the universe, then uh, everything changes. You know, and this is uh, synonymous with enlightenment. Okay, uh, it pretty much is enlightenment. Uh, coming to be enlightened, you're going to have the realization that uh, you've been living in the very 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 deeply um intimate trust you know and this is a uh, this is very much needed okay the realization itself and that's all there is all you need is the realization it's uh all you all you need is to decondition or it can come naturally you know because it's already there so so you got to allow it to flow itself out you got to allow it to express itself um uh, and say meditation will allow you to get there even psychedelics okay, these are the only methods that i've ever used to uh, with, uh, experience the deep trust uh knowledge obviously as well knowledge helps you know if you just break it down with common sense you will eventually find uh, that it has to be in trust or there has to underlie a deep deep unconditional trust and love otherwise uh, nothing would be as harmonious as it is, okay, even with the, the disharmonious uh, societal norm that we live in. So uh, once you have this realization that you are you have you are in this deep 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 state of trust, um, you then go deeper and deeper into this. You start living in accordance with this, and it can completely change your experience. Um, and and uh, you're on the road to transcending, you know. And and uh, within that, a uh, deep bliss is going to also uh, arise, you know, because there's already a deep bliss. We are already living in a very, very deep, deep, deep innate bliss. Um, the bliss bodies, you know, or the bliss body. Um, this is beyond the pains. This is beyond the physical, this is beyond uh, the mind, okay? This is beyond all of these uh, heavier densities. And this is a more um, eternal body, okay? Or, or a state. And, and it is pure bliss. And we all have this, right? So there's nothing to be developed. More so you got to uh, get into your uh, path, your unique path to be able to uh, come into realizing or exper experiencing that bliss, okay? But we're all living like this. So we're already, we already all in bliss, all right? Uh, but you can like, you can play uh, that you are not in bliss. You know, you can act that uh, you're suffering or, or that you're entangled or whatever it may be. This is just to... Uh, to keep the bliss going on an underlying level, okay? Because you're deriving bliss or deeper pleasures from uh, putting on that act itself of suffering, you know? Like like you go to a movie and it's uh, the genre is um, a horror or like tragedy, you know? And, and uh, you derive bliss from this, you know? So you're putting on your own act and you're getting caught in it right this is bliss all right uh so so we are all within bliss okay and it's this simple uh all you got to do is realize that you got to have the experience you got to dive into the bliss um and and once again you can do this through uh, deconditioning all right you can use meditation you can use whatever method works best for you because uh, there's many different methods. Every, but every individual takes a different path to being able to get there. You know, some people can share paths too. Everybody can share a path. Uh, you can develop your own path to come into realization, self-realization. Uh, but you're, it's everybody's coming into self-realization. Okay, there's one destination, uh, many different paths. Okay, so um, you're gonna realize tr you're gonna realize deep trust and you're gonna realize deep bliss. 
Okay, uh, and uh, the deep bliss is synonymous with eternal life as well as the deep trust. Okay, uh, immortality. Um, on a completely different dimensional level though. Right. Then, um, then um, the experience completely changes after you are coming into self-realization. Or after you come into self-realization, everything changes uh, perceptually or experientially, okay? Uh, and it's the best uh, change ever because everything kind of stays the same, but everything is also flipped upside down at the same time. So it's amazing, okay? Uh, but that's going to be it for today's video. I do thank everybody for watching. Once again, peace out. One love. Have a great evening.